Dead people receive more flowers than the living ones, because the regret is stronger than gratitude. What a wonderful thought it is, that some of the best days of our lives haven't even happened yet. What is done cannot be undone, but one can prevent it happening again. Our lives are fashioned by our choices. First we make our choices. Then our choices make us. Human greatness does not lie in wealth or power, but in character and goodness. People are just people, and all people have faults and shortcomings. But all of us are born with a basic goodness. Look at how a single candle can both defy and define the darkness. You can always give something, even if it is only kindness. I believe in the sun, even when it rains. In spite of everything, I still believe that people are really good at heart. I simply can't build up my hopes on a foundation consisting of confusion, misery, and death. I see the world gradually being turned into a wilderness. I hear the ever-approaching thunder, which will destroy us too. I can feel the sufferings of millions and yet, if I look up into the heavens, I think that it will all come right, that this cruelty too will end, and that peace and tranquility will return again. Think of all the beauty still left around you, and be happy. We can't control our destiny, but we can control who we become. Where there's hope, there's life. It fills us with fresh courage and makes us strong again. People who give will never be poor. You can always, always, give something, even if it's a simple act of kindness. If everyone were to give in this way and didn't scrimp on kindly words, there would be much more love and justice in the world. Parents can only advise their children or point them in the right direction. Ultimately people shape their own characters. In the long run, the sharpest weapon of all is a kind and gentle spirit. How wonderful it is that no one has to wait, but can start right now to gradually change the world. I looked up in the sky and trusted in God. Everyone has inside of him a piece of good news. The good news is that you don't know how great you can be. How much you can love. What you can accomplish. And what your potential is. Whoever is happy will make others happy. No one has ever become poor by giving. The only way to truly know a person is to argue with them. For when they argue in full swing, then they reveal their true character. There's one golden rule to keep before you. Laugh about everything and don't bother yourself about the others. You can be lonely even when you are loved by many people. 
since you are still not anybody's one and only. The best remedy for those who are afraid, lonely or unhappy is to go outside, somewhere where they can be quiet, alone with the heavens, nature and God. Because only then does one feel that all is as it should be. Where there is hope, there is life. I want friends, not admirers. People who respect me for my character and my deeds, not my flattering smile. The circle around me would be much smaller. But what does that matter, as long as they're sincere? I've found that there is always some beauty left. In nature, sunshine, freedom, in yourself. These can all help you. A quiet conscience makes one strong. I can shake off everything as I write. My sorrows disappear. My courage is reborn. I wish to go on living, even after my death. The weak fall, but the strong will remain and never go under. Riches, prestige, Everything can be lost. But the happiness in your own heart can only be dimmed. It will always be there, as long as you live, to make you happy again. The nicest part is being able to write down all my thoughts and feeling. Otherwise, I might suffocate. As long as you can look fearlessly at the sky, you'll know that you're pure within and will find happiness once more. If only I can be myself, I'll be satisfied. Despite everything, I believe that people are really good at heart. Given you shall receive. Much more that you ever thought possible. Give and give again. People who give will never be poor. I firmly believe that nature brings solace in all troubles. Live with the objective of being happy. The young are not afraid of telling the truth. I love you, with a love so great that it simply couldn't keep growing inside my heart, but had to leap out, and reveal itself in all its magnitude. Love. What is love? I don't think you can really put it into words. Love is understanding someone, caring for him, sharing his joys and sorrows. This eventually includes physical love. You've shared something, given something away, and received something in return, whether or not you're married, whether or not you have a baby. Losing your virtue doesn't matter, as long as you know that. For as long as you live, you'll have someone at your side who understands you, and who doesn't have to be shared with anyone else. Sympathy Love Fortune We all have these qualities, but still tend to not use them. I don't have much in the way of money or worldly possessions. I'm not beautiful, intelligent or clever, but I'm happy, and I intend to stay that way. I was born happy, 
I love people. I have a trusting nature. And I'd like everyone else to be happy too. We all live with the objective of being happy. Our lives are all different and yet the same. I can't imagine how anyone can say, I'm weak, and then remain so. After all, if you know it, why not fight against it? Why not try to train your character? The answer was, because it's so much easier not to. Earning happiness means doing good and working, not speculating and being lazy. Laziness may look inviting, but only work gives you true satisfaction. <laughs>